Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing another firefighter game, Firefighter Simulator Squad. Dispatch to Unit One. Looks like we're already en route to our first call. So let's see what goes on. Whoa. Oh, she's rolling. It's a big fire too. Uh, I think we're unit. I think they said we were unit one. I can't tell if we're an engine or a ladder. Dispatch to unit one. Ladder truck is on scene and has assumed safety. I think we are an engine. I am not sure. Dispatch to unit one. Park in front of the building. Oh yeah. We have a fully involved structure fire. Wait, which one's ladder one? We have like three ladders on seat. Oh yeah, she's definitely rolling. Oh yeah, for sure structure, fully involved structure. Looks like it's a total. Well, we got two hand lines going already. Two or three hand lines going already. Alright, we have to go inside. Take this Alright. Yes, gotta breach the door. Oh, we have a victim. Can you walk? Hey, we have a victim. You have to carry me. <laughs> What's he doing with the hammer right there? What was he doing? Okay, we got interior crew and we got an exterior. I heard this loud noise. I fell. I think they were interior until we got the After that, victim out. There was smoke everywhere. But he's gonna go to EMS right here. Victim is unconscious, but seems okay. Whew. All good. Thanks. We'll take it from here. We can get back to putting out fires and safe. thanks for getting me out of there. Grab the nozzle, fight the fire in the garage. Oh, there we have a hand. There we have a hand. We're gonna fight all of this stuff first. Alright. Fire the. We got heavy fire in the garage. You show me going interior. Up in your team. Oh, Alright, we gotta we gotta help fight this fire in the garage. I do not know what buttons to crouch. Looks like the fire might have started in the garage and just worked its way into the house. Alright, we got the fire pretty much knocked down on the roof. Okay, I found the crouch button. Yeah, we're gonna 
fight it from over here like this. Man, this fire is roaring. Well, we got we got pretty much knocked down. That fire's out of there. So. Let's see. All right, we're able to make entry into the garage. I'm sure they'll teach me more about what buttons to use for like fog and just a constant stream. Because this right here would seem to have a fog stream. Backing up because this car is on fire again. Looks like we got multiple departments on this. Obviously, we wouldn't make interior, like, wouldn't make entry into the garage unless the fire was knocked down. We have fire roar over our heads and stuff. I, mean, I don't even know. Most firefighters, they do. They get treated. But with a fire like this, this garage could collapse at any moment. We're not gonna fire down pretty quickly, so this is a major structure fire. Oh, gotta get that fire out back there. Done with this. Just gotta keep this. No, we gotta go on the back side of this. All right, we did good. Not bad. They're working on getting out the tree and the rest of the house. But yeah, this is firefighters, firefighting simulator the squad, guys. Congratulations, uh, we completed our first mission. Now here's the city map. All right. Yeah, we're gonna need to go to. We're not gonna need to go to training.
Alright, let's see here. We'll go with dealing doors this and training walls. training exercise will get you familiar with using forcible entry tools on doors and walls. Walk forward and open the door. Walk forward and open the door. It says walk forward and open the doors, okay. Alrighty, I'm going. I'm going. It's probably locked anyway. The next door is locked. Grab the crowbar off the bench and walk towards the door. Then you break it the open. crowbar, okay. Wait, what? There we go. That is weird. Now place the crowbar on the ground in the glowing box. Drop. Grab the Halogen. Walk towards the door. Now we get the Halogen. Finally. We're gonna breach the door. Make forcible entry. Nicely done. Place the Halogen tool on the ground in the box. Grab the demo off the bench. Walk towards the door and bust it open. The demo. I don't know. I haven't seen one of these in a minute. Grab the demo log off the bench. Walk towards the door and bust it open. I think we're using this axe next. Yes, sir. Wow. Create your own. You can break through some walls using any forcible entry tool. Look for the cracks in the wall and break through it with your axe. Okay. But our luck will find a stud, right? Examine the wall for cracks and break through with your axe. Good work. Now place the axe on the ground in the glowing box and we'll move on. Okay. Alright guys. We're gonna go to recognizing vectors. Now so, we're gonna learn about one of the most dangerous situations you'll ever encounter. A backdraft. Backdrafts often surprise even experienced firefighters. Backdrafts occur when the oxygen within a room has been used up and then more oxygen yeah. is reintroduced into the area. This is caused by opening a door or window in an oxygen depleted environment. When backdrafts occur, fire explodes. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking over, I'm looking over here in the fast moving fire left to see what it says. To anything in its path and can even badly injure you. Okay, now we're going to show you the backdraft event so that you can know what to look for in a potential backdraft situation. First, we're going to walk over to the window on the left. Walk to the window on the left, okay. Yeah, there's embers right here, so the fire's been actually burning for a minute. Okay. But as soon as I open that door... So, let's see here. I need to breach the door. Where or where's an X or a Caligan? You know what? Missing tool. Is it upstairs? Oh, it's having me pick up the nozzle, okay. Now it's having me look at this door. Okay. Look at the locked door 
Yep, left. we got we got heavy smoke right there. Has signs of a potential factor. In addition to the room being full of smoke with no visible flames, there's also smoke at the base. There's a the door victim in there. Did you hear it? It's a low thud. This sound seems like it's repeating because the room's trying to suck air into it. It needs oxygen to right. the fires within. Okay. Doors unlocked. The door, but immediately back away from it to avoid the blast from the back. I just missed what that said. Open the door, but back away from it to avoid the back. There it goes. Notice that the area opposite the door was caught in the fireball. We have heavy fire in this room. Oh yeah. Guys, this video is actually be gonna be kind of long, but that's okay. Just as long as. All right. Good work. Um, now, we got another backdraft situation right here. Potential Do you see the smoke at the base? Do you hear the pulsing sound? Okay. Yeah, we can. We can go, 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 go. Like last. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got heavy fire coming over here, guys, so. We do have our flashlight on. Just to see in the visibility, like, the low visibility. I think the next one I'll do is, like, nozzles. Alright, this fire over here is getting low. Doing good. Okay, we got the fire out, guys. The next room and extinguish the fires there. Good work. As I said before, even experienced firefighters can be surprised by backdrafts. So pay attention to any closed door that you approach and look for signs. Uh, why is this door closed? It could save your life. All right, guys. Let's see here. They don't have anything at. But guys, that's gonna end today's video there. Hope you guys enjoyed Firefighting Simulator Squad. And see you in the next one.